Oh, there, slut. You don't look like someone that has any business inside, huh? Marvelous Selvins.
What did you just say? I'm deaf. You don't look like you have business here. No. Before that, you called me something. <laughs> you don't want to come to this place and complain about the tune of the gatekeeper. Just be a good girl and you will be. A wise man would think twice before talking in this manner to someone he is clueless about. It would stop a wise man from losing his tongue, or worse. Young miss, you're not from around here, are you? What, what my partner meant to say is, is that this is a dangerous place, run by mystics. People usually come in groups and stay in the lower city while their bosses deal with business in the auction house. I see. In that case, I would have you know something of mine was stolen, and I wish it returned. I was told that I could find information here. The object in question is a golden idol with a red ruby. Now you sound like you mean business, girl. Get in. Just don't go around pushing people if you don't end up with your guts on the outside. Keep your head high, so that people won't look at your pretty face and think they can treat you like what I call you. Haven't seen you around here before. Must be new in town. I'm Farah, by the way. Well met, commoner. Kaliska is my name, and indeed I am new to this village. I presume you are the owner of this fine establishment? Yes. You look in the trade? Or perhaps a few upgrades would be the trick? I'll bite. Present your wares.
Welcome back. You're looking a bit pecky. Are you alright? Not today, no. I'm actually looking for some ways to earn coin. Well, I do happen to need some bear and wolf pelts to add layers to the armors that I'm making. The winter will be coming soon, and I fear without revement, my customers will freeze to death. I'll pay coin for every pelt you bring to me. Sounds fair enough. But are you positive that was all? You've made your problems sound like more than just a common trade. Perhaps you would like to talk about it. You know, now you mention it, there is something I need dealing with. Though I'm not entirely sure you'd be the right person for it. Sorry, but no, it's far too personal to be dealt with by a random traveler. I wanted to know what you could tell me about this town. I couldn't help but notice the abundance of raiders and outlaws. Yeah, it didn't even call it a town. The only thing separating this place from any other bandit camp is the fact that there's no buildings. And for storm's sake, bandit high lords. High lords? Couldn't believe it either. The first time I've heard of it, I had to see it for myself. I ended up stuck here, however, but that's the story for another time. To be fair, the marauder who runs the town, Maynard, is surprisingly not that bad. Leaves us common folk alone for the most part, and as so long as we do our duties and pay our tributes, that's more than what real High Lords back home did. So, what, a society run by bandits is what one should aspire to nowadays? Oh, no, it's more complicated than that, isn't it? And these aren't the only bandits around. If old bandit Eckhart's gaining a foothold in the realm again, Storm knows what that can mean. I suppose the easiest way to put it is that there's some form of honor among thieves in this town, and that helped a lot of people out here for sure. I'm sure it dooms a great many people here as well. I can only imagine what happened to those who used to call this place home. Ah, oh, yes it did. We're all here for different reasons though, good or bad. And this place used to be owned by a wealthy farmer and his family. Hard workers they were, well, are, for the daughter at least. You can find her around town actually. She works at the brothel. Brothel? And yes, thank you. I shall be sure to keep that in mind. Well, that'll be all then.
If that's how you want to play it.
Ah, welcome back. You're looking a bit pecky. Are you alright? As per your request, I've brought you some pelts. Thank you kindly. That will be very handy indeed. Here's your gold.
shite is it? Maybe you've just misplaced it. There's no way in Storm's bleeding buggery that I lost our coin. It's been stolen. Where the shite is it? Maybe you've just misplaced it. There's no way in Storm's bleeding buggery that I lost our coin. It's been stolen. Shite is it? Maybe you've just misplaced it. There's no way in Storm's bleeding buggery that I lost our coin. It's been stolen. Just take a minute, Selena. I can't bloody believe this. We were so close. When I find out who did this. Can you? I'm sorry, miss, but we're busy. You'll need to speak with Bronwyn if you want to book a lass. It appears you may need some help. Perhaps I can assist you. That's awfully kind, but we couldn't possibly... Help? Help us how? Are you some sort of officer? No, but I desire to meet with the bandit lord. Maynard? We don't have any association with him. Mm. You may not. But helping you may aid myself in catching his attention. If his bandits had anything to do with your problem... That's worth a shot. Our savings are gone. They were stolen. We don't know that. What else could it be? It didn't just vanish out of thin air. When did you last see your coin? I added to it last night. And Luna did the night before. We keep it here. No one knows about it. Not even the other girls. Though I don't trust them with my life. I hardly think anyone here would steal it. Not what it means so much to us. Don't be so sure. Vivian would take it in a heartbeat. That vile wench. Damn it, we were so close! How much was it? Almost five thousand. Storms! My, what a substantial amount of coin! How did you get so much? We've been saving for years. Ever since we started working. What were you saving for? To leave the storm-forsaken town. We want to buy a house in the capital. Move to Thogatha. Somewhere our only option is in this line of work. We're meant to be viewing places next week. It'll take us years to get that money back. Look, can you help us or not? Yes, I will aid you. That's good and all, but... No offense. The coin needs to come back in full. Selina! I expect fair payment for fair work. Though I do not work for free, I accept many forms of payment. In this case, a good word to Bronwyn would be appreciated as well. We understand. You will be amply rewarded. We swear it. I shall start by looking around the room. They tore their trousers trying to climb through. I smell... oils. 
and animal skin. I must say, these ladies certainly have style. It would seem Luna has ambitions of becoming a scholar. Someone came here. They must have slipped in as they attempted to exit through the window. Though that appeared to be too much trouble for them. Perhaps an older patron. Someone who overestimates their own physical capacities. You're describing most of our customers. They also work with animal hides. A tanner, perhaps. The other night, I spent some time with Gareth. I told him we'd be leaving as soon as the quarantine is lifted. You did what? Why did you tell him? I'm sorry. He was seeing how much he liked my company. How he loved me. I felt bad. Him not knowing that I'd be gone. He's been my longest. He's always generous with his tips. I wanted him to know the money was making a difference to us. Luna, you fool. You know where he lives? No, I don't. You'll make sure it's him first, won't you? I don't want us accusing the wrong person. Of course. I'd best be off. Wait. If he is the thief, we'd like to deal with this ourselves. <laughs> I look forward to watching that. Selina, I'm so sorry. I thought I could trust him. <sighs> it's fine, but you're too trusting sometimes. You've got to be more suspicious, like me. I know. You're right. This is it. Now to see if he's home. Address. I take it you are Gareth. For you, lovely, I'll be anyone. Charming, though unhelpful. Are you Gareth or not? Not in a talkative mood. All right, yes, I'm he. What can I do for a lovely lass like yourself? I believe we have a mutual friend. Luna. Well, I'm not sure who you mean. I don't know a Luna. Don't play me for a fool. I'm here because I know what you did. Don't make this difficult for yourself. I don't know what you're going on about. Maybe I should ask your wife. All right, all right. I took the coin. How did you know? That is none of your concern. What have you done with it? Paid off your debts? Spent it all? No, nothing like that. I still have it. Then why take it? Luna said she was going to leave. After all I've given her, she wants to run off and start a new life. Well, not anymore. She's not ever leaving this town. Not ever leaving me. You paid for a service she provided. Hmm. You are lucky it is not my choice how you will be punished. Oh, blimey. That's the missus. Are we done here? For now.
We couldn't wait. We had to see what you found. So, was it him? Yes. He confessed. Rather quickly. His heart raced with fear when his wife approached. That bastard! I swear, I am going to tear him to pieces. Selina, let's not be hasty. We need to be careful now how we handle this. It does not appear the two of you are experienced in dealing with this. And I have a sword. How thrilling! Then he won't be any trouble for us. Hello. Can I help you with something? Hello, madam. We're here to see Gareth. I, I'm sorry. What is this about? Well, he has something of ours. Something he took. Which we would like back. I trusted you. We saved for years to make that much coin. I told you our plans out of respect for you. Now I'm grateful I'll never see you again. Gareth? What are they talking about? I can explain. For love of my life, please hear me out. I was weak. I desired other women. You've been lying with prostitutes? Lying with and stealing from them. Gareth took a sum from these two women and we want it back. Bronwyn does not have to know that your husband has been stealing from his employees. Is this true? Well, I, I mean, I can't say it's not. Give it to them. You bloody disgust me, Gareth Willem. I never thought you'd stoop so low. This is wonderful. Thank you, miss. What is your name? Lady Kaliska Konstein. Make sure you remember. I wish we'd roughed him up a bit. But I'm glad we have it back. You must take better care not to let a soul know of your savings now. That you'll go with me to the grave. You have helped us so much. How can we repay you? We can give you some of our coin. Or perhaps you'd like something a little more intimate. You could spend the night with us. What do you say? Thank you for the offer, but if you intend to change your career, I cannot accept such payment. <laughs> Surely not. No one turns down a free tumble in the sheets. No offense. <laughs> well, today, I do. Farewell. Good fortune on your journey. Goodbye, Kaliska. Thank you.
Welcome to Bouchard's Tavern and Inn. So nice to see a new face around. Hello as well. Are you the owner? That'll be my parents. They're right over there at the bar if you'd like to speak to them. I thought I saw a fresh face walk in. And a pretty one at that. Very pretty indeed. You are Madame Bouchard, correct? That'll be me. What brings you to our town, little missy? You look far too rich to be slumming it with people like us. One could say I am tending to unfinished business. I'm looking for a blood gem, actually. Have you seen one? Beyond that, I'm simply needing a place to stay the night. Well, we certainly can give you a bed. As for the blood gem... Well, I'm sure one of these patrons can give you their beds as well. They certainly seem meager. I got a place for you to sit right here. The lascivious eyes of your errant guests make themselves known like the mating call of a howling wolf, whose lungs have been severely beaten. Their company is rarely something I would turn down from a worthy seeker. Oh, I'll bet. Oh, uh, missed introductions. How silly of me. I'm the owner of this establishment, Bouchard. We've got plenty of rooms here for you at an affordable cost. But I've interrupted you. You mentioned something. The blood gem. You've seen it? No, ma'am. I'm afraid I've never even heard of anything like that. Well, maybe you've seen it without knowing what it is. It'd be a red reflective stone about yay big. Oh, I do believe I know what you're talking about. You do? Yes, we do. We've seen it. Will that be all? That's really all you can spare. You've seen it. Where? When? Perhaps something shiny might loosen our tongues. Yeah, you look like you can afford it. You are rather put together, ain't you? Although if you don't want to pay our price, we could always work out a different deal. Exactly what sort of deal are we talking about here? Just a little job. The kind that brings gold to both our pockets and smiles to my customers' faces. Oh, please give it a break. As if somebody of her caliber would stoop so low. Look at the woman. She could be royalty for all we know. You've made such an effort to beat around the bush that I had a glimpse of hope you wouldn't be so predictable. <sighs> Here, take your coin. We did see your stone, actually. Gem. Whatever. Inside this very tavern. A bunch of bandits were boasting about it, actually. Got it from some guy named John? Jacob? James. That's before the bloody bastards started fighting. They had to get rid of them because they were causing too much of a ruckus. Took your gem with them, though. Well, I'm not sure what happened after they left, but they did mention how rich it had been. Pondered, I bet. At the shop. And this shop is... where? Once you exit our tavern. It's the building directly to the right. A lady named Loretta owns it. Understood. I shall head there as soon as I can. Is there anything else you've seen or heard? It's all we know, dearie. If you insist. See you around, Missy. Well, if it wasn't, it'd hardly matter now. I ought to get going. I don't think I'll be buying anything else. Thank you, I suppose. If you insist. See you around, Missy. Bye-bye now. Don't worry, dear, we'll find it. We'll go back now. Now, where are their manners? Not the keeper of this house, young man. Oh, then why are you here? We have the room booked for the night.
It is clear that you are in desperate need of help, so here I am. That's rather brash of you barging in here. Please leave at once. You would offend me again after pushing me aside at the door. All right, you can come in. I'm sorry, miss. My husband and I are in distress and we forget ourselves. I see. What has happened? We were robbed not long ago. We're on our way here. Thank you for your interest, but you cannot help us in this predicament. Do not assume the extent of my abilities. What did they take from you? My wedding ring. It was Harry's grandmother's. Our supplies, satchels, and even our horses. Margaret! Tell the woman what she wants to know. There's something about her, and honestly, I don't want you going back out there. Who was it that stole from you? Three men. Came out of the trees. And then Harry... I froze. It was nothing like the training grounds back home. Now because of me, we only have the clothes on our backs. We're lucky I paid for this room in advance. I'm sorry I ruined our honeymoon. It's not your fault. It seems to me that if I were to return all of your substantial belongings, it would be only fair if I were to keep the small trinket for myself. Unless you've overstated the value of your belongings, of course. Hmm. Yes, well, I suppose we could give up a minor. No, oh, Harry. If she returns it, she should be properly rewarded. Yes, we will find something suitable for you, Kaliska. Hmm. Yes. Yes, of course. It won't be a problem. I like your story. I will help you. No, no, I couldn't live with myself if anyone came to harm because of my incompetence. Especially a lady. I am no ordinary lady. I am the Lady of Kahnstein. Kaliska. You are not afraid of facing bandits? Trained killers up to no good? <laughs> oh, Margaret. I doubt they are trained. But they will face justice for their thievery. I will not let them get away with the belongings of my new acquaintances. Return our property, especially Margaret's ring. And we shall be more than just acquaintances, Miss Kaliska. We will be friends. <laughs> we shall see. Where exactly did they attack you? Halfway between here and that camp of ruffians. That's where they assailed us. On the road. Good fortune, Kaliska. You see, Margaret? We fated to be together. To have a love like none other. The storms are working in mysterious ways. But their hand is clear. Thank you.